Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss some of the best ESP32 projects of the year. Without further ado, let's start with number 20. This innovative board can turn an ordinary oven into a fully functional reflow oven. That's right. Maker Moco has designed this project using an ESP32S2, making it one of the best we've seen so far. He started by removing the oven's original control knobs and replacing them with a custom-designed PCB. This PCB features sensor inputs, outputs, buzzers, and various SMD components to handle reflow operations. It also includes an OLED display and three push buttons, allowing the oven to function as a standalone device. It can also be programmed to work seamlessly with apps on a smartphone. For a finishing touch, he added an acrylic glass cover over the control board, offering both protection and a sleek, modern look that elevates the oven's design. Number 19, Eric created a simple GPS speedometer. This application runs on an MCU and is designed to display real-time speed and direction information, along with other GPS data such as coordinates, altitude, and the number of connected satellites. The project is developed using LVGL, Light and Versatile Graphics Library, for the graphical interface, with the graphical widgets created using SquareLine. The application consists of two screens. The first is the speedometer, which tells you the current speed and direction it is heading. The second one displays the GPS information, connected satellites, and other details. Number 18. Next, we have a wireless water level controller created by Electro Retro. It uses the ESP Now protocol to transmit data, with a range of up to 500 meters in a clear line of sight. The controller is designed with built-in protections against high or low voltage, overload, and dry run conditions. It features two float switches to monitor the water level in the tank and offers three controlling modes, auto, off, and manual. All data, including voltage, current, power, and transmitter battery voltage, is displayed on the TFT screen. Number 17. To simplify home automation, the Coders Cafe team has come up with these unique easy-to-place devices that can turn a regular home smart without touching the existing house wiring. All these modules consist of a microcontroller and some sensors performing a specific task. For instance, this node consists of a motion sensor that only wakes the ESP32 from deep sleep when a motion is detected. Likewise, the door sensor node incorporates a magnetic reed switch, and the weather node features a BME680 sensor. The collected data from these nodes is transmitted to the gateway and can be conveniently viewed on a dashboard. Number 16. The Circuit Digest team set out to build a low-cost drone, managing to do it at just one-sixth the price of a typical DIY drone. The drone doesn't have a traditional frame. Instead, its PCB doubles as the structure. It uses an ESP32 as the flight controller, and for flight, it's equipped with four 720 coreless BLDC motors and 55 mm propellers. The ESP32 connects to a mobile app, allowing the drone to be controlled via Wi-Fi. During initial testing, the drone struggled to take off, but after tweaking the thrust, pitch, and upgrading to a more powerful battery, it flew smoothly and powerfully, buzzing through the air like a bee. Number 15. Our next project is a cute hat that adds a unique touch to any costume and entertains everyone around. It's not a normal hat. It could tell spooky jokes, interact with people, or even deliver haunting messages. <laughs> the exterior of the hat is crafted from sturdy paper mache covered with a soft piece of fabric. Inside the hat, servos control the movement of its mouth, eyes, and unibrow while an OLED display shows an animated eye that brings the hat to life. Number 14. This ESP32-based project made by Eric not only displays the time but also includes a crucial feature, location tracking. But instead of relying on a GPS, he used the Open Haystack framework to track the location of his watch in real time. He also added a switch that activates the location tracking only when it's turned on, thus protecting the privacy of the user. It has a 250 milliamp hour battery, which gives the watch a runtime of two hours at the maximum screen brightness. Before moving on to the next project, 
a word from our sponsor. Altium 365 is a powerful PCB design platform that makes it easy to share your design files with your team. Members can view, edit, and comment in real-time streamlining collaboration. Need input from a software engineer? They'll get notified and can take action right away with easy access to data sheets and materials. You can even send your design directly to the manufacturer, simplifying the process and boosting workflow efficiency. If you're a student looking to kickstart your PCB design career, Altium Student Lab offers online courses and free access to their cutting-edge design software to help you master the basics of PCB design and ECAD fundamentals. Check the description for more details. Number 13. Next, we have a ChatGPT-based voice assistant system. Built on a custom PCB, the project requires two ESP32 modules. A proximity sensor serves as a switch and allows you to give commands upon accepting a gesture input. The voice commands are transmitted to Google Cloud, which converts them to text and then sends them to an open AI server. ChatGPT processes the query and generates a response. This text response is subsequently converted back into voice, audible through a speaker. I'm an AI digital assistant and do not have a name. Number 12. Next on the list, we have a smart exhaust fan system powered by the ESP microcontroller. It uses an MQ2 gas sensor and the DHT11 humidity temperature sensor to keep track of gas levels, temperature, and humidity. All this data is seamlessly transmitted to the dynamic Blink dashboard, providing you with real-time insights. If the system detects too much gas levels, the fan turns on to clear the air and keep things safe and clean. Moreover, you can control the fan manually using the dashboard, offering personalized control based on individual needs or preferences. Number 11. Omnidirectional wheels are a game-changer in robotics. These unique wheels can roll in any direction thanks to the small rollers on their surface. If we look at this project design, the wheels are spaced at an angle of 120 degrees, where a PCB at the center houses all the electronics. A camera provides a live video feed, making the robot suitable for remote navigation or real-time visual monitoring. A custom-built web server displays the camera feed and allows the user to control movement and lighting with sliders and a touch joystick. Despite minor streaming delays, the result is a highly responsive bot, ready to perform advanced maneuvers. Number 10. Unlike other DIY weather stations that only check temperature, pressure, and humidity, Giovanni's creation goes the extra mile. His weather station not only monitors those basics, but also keeps tabs on wind speed, direction, and rainfall amount. What's even cooler is that Giovanni didn't buy any fancy gadgets. He crafted his own wind speed meter, wind direction indicator, and rain gauge right in his lab. He set them up on his roof for accurate readings. The data from the sensors can be seen on a local display LCD or a web server. So, whether you're at home or away, you can easily check the weather updates. Simple, right? Number 9. Max designed a portable retro audio player that plays music and audiobooks from a micro SD card, either through its internal speaker or a headphone jack. The user-friendly interface features a 2.8-inch IPS screen and mechanical buttons. These classic buttons, along with a rotary encoder, give the audio player a nostalgic 90s vibe. The player can play, pause, rewind, and fast-forward tracks. And it even has an automatic save and resume feature. The screen displays an animation of tape reel spools, adding a charming touch. Number 8. Next. We have the most compact smartwatch built by Gabriel. He used an ESP32 TTGO development board that comes with a 1.14-inch IPS display. It has both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, allowing him to use it as a control for a home automation system. The board is housed within a 3D printed casing with a slot for an LED, a laser, a USB charging port, and some switches. The wrist straps are printed with flexible thermoplastic and attached to the watch with brass tubes. It took him around three months to complete the project, but the finished smartwatch is really cool. 
Number 7. A surveillance robot is most effective when it is tiny, has minimal components, and is fast. The Circuit Digest team considered all these factors in creating this spy car. To make it compact, they assembled the car on a single PCB, integrating the motor driver and battery charging circuit. Four N20 DC motors provide smooth movement, while an ESP32 cam records everything and sends the video stream to a web server from which the bot's movements can be controlled. Number six, if you've ever struggled to find the keyhole of your front door in the dark and had to use your phone's flashlight, this project offers a simple solution. Akshay designed a front door light that sits above the doorknob. It uses an ultrasonic sensor to detect when someone approaches, automatically lighting up a string of neopixels to illuminate the area around the knob. This makes finding the keyhole in the dark quick and easy, without any extra hassle. To make it portable, Akshay powered the device with a lithium-ion battery and included a charging circuit, all housed in a custom 3D printed frame. Number 5. If you're a fan of mini RC toys, then Professor Boots has a treat for you with his DIY guide to building a mini dump truck. He aimed to give the truck a cute, appealing look, so he paid extra attention to the wheels and the dump bed while designing the 2D model. The first 3D printed base holds the custom PCB, which houses all the electronics. Once the base was ready, he added the drive system. He opted for a two-wheel drive setup, where the rear wheels are powered by a DC-geared motor. The front wheels are connected to a steering linkage controlled by a servo motor, allowing the truck to turn smoothly. The tires were also 3D printed from a flexible material, but they initially lacked enough traction. To solve this, he added rubber rings around them, transforming the truck into an off-roading beast. After attaching the dump bed, his RC truck was ready to roll. Number 4. Have you ever thought about building your own roulette table? If not, Mark from the Element 14 community has created a digital roulette game perfect for family game night. He used an ESP32, an audio board, LED strips, and a few buttons. The components are mounted on a simple PCB and housed in a custom casing with cutouts for the push button, speaker, and LEDs. The code controls the LED animations and audio, simulating a spinning roulette ball that slows down to a random number. While the LED simulation might not fully replicate the thrill of a real roulette ball, it's still a fun and engaging game. Number 3. Indoor Geek created an internet radio shaped like a cassette to give the project a retro look. He kept a simple design for the project, featuring a 3D printed frame that secures the PCB with four corner screws. The back PCB houses all the electronics, while the front PCB showcases artwork for aesthetic appeal. He repurposed a speaker from an old mobile phone, which made the project more compact and sustainable. At the center, he added a transparent display that shows the currently playing song and custom animations. Overall, the project is impressive from the initial concept to the fully realized retro radio. Number 2. Volos created a unique way to blink two LEDs using a T-Display S3 AMOLED board. By combining basic shapes like circles, triangles, and lines, he crafted a lever that turns the LEDs on. These shapes are displayed precisely at the right moments and angles for perfect timing. There are two control modes. In manual mode, you adjust a potentiometer to activate the circuit. Pressing a button switches it to auto mode, so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the LEDs blinking effortlessly. Number 1. Volos created a miniature messaging device that sends short messages using two-way ESP Now communication. Despite its simple appearance, which consists of a custom PCB, some tactile switches, and an M5 Stack Atom S3 development board, it works effectively. It's important to note that the device is only suitable for short-range communication, and each message can be up to 20 characters long. However, it's a great way to communicate with your friends. If you've made it till here, then drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. Comment the project that you loved the most. We will be back with some great ideas soon. Till then, goodbye.